One of the veterans currently on the honor flight to Washington, D.C. was serving in Germany 50 years ago. September marked the 50th anniversary of the Munich massacre. Now that's an event that made the world think differently about terrorism. It was an attack during the 1972 Summer Olympics in Munich, West Germany. The Valley News team's Mike Morgan has that story. Arab guerrillas had invaded the male athlete's housing area, killed two Israelis in the pre-dawn raid, claimed eight hostages. The Olympic Games of 1972 in Munich were supposed to be opposite of the 1936 Games in Berlin. And later, at a military airport as the scene shifted, the other eight hostages died. Instead, an estimated 900 million people tuned in to watch the hostage crisis play out on TV. Today, Kenneth Hall is in Washington, D.C. He's with other veterans from North Dakota and Minnesota touring monuments and memorials. Fifty years ago, he was in Germany and on guard protecting large amounts of ammunition for military weaponry when the terrorist attack took place. Right, I was scared. Hall was on duty near Würzburg, which was some 170 miles away from Munich. He says there was word that the terrorists may go through his area. I was honestly scared of what could happen, especially being I was guarding the ammo dome. The events of the Munich massacre would be limited to the Olympic Village and the Munich airport, but it did open the door to terrorism becoming a new approach to warfare. Well, I guess I was more worried about going to war after that because before that I had missed going to Vietnam, so I thought I was home free. <laughs> It turns out they can get you anywhere you're at, I guess. Kenneth Hall finished serving his country a year later and would return to North Dakota. And like so many, we'll never forget what happened 50 years ago during the Munich Massacre. Mike Morkin, Valley News Live. This group of Honor Flight veterans come from 53 communities in North Dakota and Minnesota and every branch of the military. Today, they are heading to the National Archives, the Navy Memorial, the Air Force Memorial, and Arlington National Cemetery to watch the changing of the guard, as well as a guided trolley tour. Now, on day one of that honor flight, the veterans saw the Marine Corps War Memorial, a magnificent statue showing the flag raisers at Iwo Jima. Many from North Dakota and Minnesota were moved by the statue. I've been here before, but it's especially great to be here with uh my cousin who I followed into the Marine Corps. And why did you follow him into the Marine Corps? Um, we used to bail hay together and do a lot of things together and he went in the Marine Corps and I thought it was the right thing to do. Both of us went in, both served in Vietnam, both in the I Corps and we made it back. Rain did force a change in plans yesterday. Instead of stopping at the FDR Memorial, the group then headed indoors to the new Army Museum. Now stay with us right here at Valley News Live throughout the day as we follow our own Mike Morgan as he delivers coverage from Washington, D.C.